the European Union has decided to impose sanctions on 11 individuals linked to the February 1 coup in Myanmar. The EU's foreign policy chief, Joseph Borrell, said as he arrived for a meeting of European Union foreign ministers in Brussels. While the bloc has an arms embargo on Myanmar and has targeted some senior military officials since 2018, the measures would be its most significant response so far since the coup. On Myanmar, we are going to take sanctions against 11 persons involved in the coup and the repression of the demonstrators, Borrell said, adding the situation in the country was getting worse. Reuters reported on March 8 that EU was preparing the measures. The names of the individuals are expected to be made public once the sanctions are formally decided by ministers. Stronger measures are expected soon as the bloc moves to target the business run by the military. European Union diplomats have told Reuters that parts of the military's conglomerates, Myanmar Economic Holdings Limited MEHL, and Myanmar Economic Corporation MEC, are likely to be targeted, barring EU investors and banks from doing business with them. The conglomerates are spread throughout the economy from mining and manufacturing to food and beverages to hotels, telecoms, and banking. They rank among the country's biggest taxpayers and sought partnerships with foreign companies as Myanmar opened up during its democratic liberalization. An EU fact-finding mission in 2019 recommended sanctions against the two companies and their subsidiaries, saying they gave the army extra sources of revenue that could finance human rights violations. Assam State President of Bharatiya Janta Party Ranjit Das today stated that the Contentious Citizenship Amendment Act 2019 will be implemented in Assam once the Saffron Party comes to power in the state. Calling it an ideological commitment of the BJP, Das stated that there is no stepping back in regard to the implementation of the bill. He further assured that the act will not harm the people of the state and the rules will soon be framed, following which it will be definitely implemented in the state, said Das. It needs to be mentioned with just a few days left for the Assam Assembly elections, the Bharatiya Janta Party leaders, including the big wigs from the party who have been campaigning here in Assam, have refrained from mentioning the CAA. In 2019, CAA was made law after President Ramnath Kovind. The law seeks to give citizenship status to Hindus, Sikhs, Jains, Parsis, Buddhists and Christians fleeing religious persecution from neighboring Pakistan, Afghanistan and Bangladesh and who have come to India on or before December 31, 2014. Soon after the passing of the act, the state has witnessed a massive protest that later amplified to other parts of the nation including the national capital, Delhi. The gap between two doses of the Covishield vaccine should be increased from 28 days to 6 to 8 weeks for better results, the government has written to states and union territories. The instruction has gone out in the middle of round two of nationwide vaccinations in which people above 60 years and those over 45 years with other illnesses are being inoculated. The revised interval applies only to Serum Institute of India's Covishield, the vaccine developed by Oxford AstraZeneca and not to Bharat Biotech's Covaxin, the centre said in its letter today. The current gap between two doses is 28 days or between 4 and 6 weeks. In view of the emerging scientific evidence, the interval between two doses of a specific COVID-19 vaccine, Covishield, has been revised by the National Technical Advisory Group on Immunization and subsequently by National Expert Group on Vaccine Administration for COVID-19. The center's letter said it appeared that protection was enhanced if the second dose of Covishield was administered between 6 and 8 weeks but not later than that. More than 4.50 crore vaccine doses have been given across the country since January this year.